In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on November 18, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Arkansas Pine Bluff vs. Texas Tech the Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions will face off against the Texas Tech Red Raiders on Monday in a college basketball matchup taking place at the United Supermarkets Arena. Both teams are coming into this game with different expectations, and fans are looking forward to an exciting contest. Typically, I'm not inclined to back teams with heavy spreads simply because of their reputation, but Texas Tech brings an impressive combination of strengths that make them hard to ignore in this matchup. The Red Raiders excel on both ends of the court, showcasing a stellar defense paired with an explosive offense. On the other hand, Arkansas Pine Bluff has struggled significantly to contain opponents this season, and there's little reason to believe they'll suddenly improve against a team of Texas Tech's caliber. While it's never thrilling to take a heavy favorite in a blowout scenario, the Texas Tech Red Raiders possess the skill and scoring depth to dictate the pace and outcome of this game entirely. The Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions have allowed 85 or more points in games against teams like Incarnate Word, USF, and Tulsa, all of whom are less talented than Texas Tech. Given the Red Raiders' superior roster, this matchup has all the makings of a one-sided affair. Therefore, the Texas Tech Red Raiders to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Statistically, the Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions are averaging 73 points per game this season while shooting 44.1% from the field, 28.1% from three-point range, and 71.6% from the free throw line. Defensively, they are allowing opponents to shoot 32.9% from beyond the arc and are averaging 33.2 rebounds per game. On the other hand, the Texas Tech Red Raiders are performing at an elite level, scoring 92 points per game on 57.5% shooting from the field, 47.8% from three-point range, and 72% from the free-throw line. Defensively, they are holding opponents to 35.4% shooting from deep and averaging 36 rebounds per game. Considering these statistics and the high-scoring potential of both teams, over the projected total is our full-game total pick. North Alabama vs. Auburn The North Alabama Lions will travel to Neville Arena on Monday evening to face off against the fifth-ranked Auburn Tigers in a highly anticipated college basketball matchup. Currently, the Lions have a 3-1 record and are riding a two-game winning streak, although their most recent game ended in a tough 97-96 overtime loss to the Sanford Bulldogs at home this past Friday. On the other hand, the Auburn Tigers have remained perfect, boasting a 3-0 record, and are coming off an impressive 79-50 six victory over the Kent State Golden Flashes in their most recent contest on Wednesday. This upcoming game promises to be intriguing, with the two teams operating on different competitive levels early in the season. North Alabama has shown some strong play to start the season, but this upcoming matchup will be a significant step up in competition. The Lions did manage a win over Air Force, but that victory may not carry as much weight as it initially appears. While Air Force is a recognizable name in college basketball, the team currently sits at a lowly 300 7th in the Ken Palm rankings, meaning that win is far from a major upset. Additionally, their other win came against Ud Martin, another team struggling in the rankings at 317th. Now, the Lions will face off against the number one team in the Ken Palm rankings, Auburn, a squad that features players 6'6 or taller scattered across the floor. One of the most glaring disparities between the two teams will be in the post, where Auburn's Johnny Broom has proven he can dominate against ranked opponents, and North Alabama will be no exception. The Lions Lions top scorer, Jackery Lane, is a six-feet guard, which means he will have a much tougher time driving to the paint or finding open jump shots against the formidable size and athleticism of Auburn. The
The Tigers have five players who are scoring in double figures, and their offensive depth is likely to overwhelm North Alabama's defense. As a result, the Lions will struggle to generate offense at the level needed to keep up with Auburn's intensity and skill. The reason the Auburn Tigers are ranked while the North Alabama Lions are not is clear. These two teams are on vastly different levels of competition. The disparity between them is evident in the Ken Palm rankings, which serve as a clear indicator of the gap in their respective performances. Through the early part of the season, Auburn has emerged as the top team in the country with a net rating of plus 30.26, while North Alabama, despite its solid play, sits far lower at 161st with a net rating of minus 0.25. While the Lions are coming off a close overtime loss to Sanford, it's important to recognize that the Bulldogs are not nearly at the same level as the Tigers. With the Tigers' superior play on both ends of the court, it is clear that Auburn should not only win this matchup, but also comfortably cover the spread as the favorites. As such, the Auburn Tigers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Auburn enters this game riding a wave of momentum, having won each of their first three contests, including a significant victory over the Houston Cougars. The Tigers have been incredibly efficient on offense, shooting an impressive 52.9% from the field, and their defense has been nothing short of excellent. While North Alabama has won three of its first four games, none of the teams they face come close to matching the caliber of Auburn. The Lions have yet to face a defense of this level, and it will be a tough adjustment for them. In their win over Air Force, North Alabama Alabama scored 73 points, but Air Force is ranked 340th in defensive efficiency, one of the worst defensive marks in college basketball. Now, the Lions will be up against an Auburn squad that ranks fifth in the nation in defensive efficiency, with athletes at every position who are capable of contesting shots, clogging driving lanes, and securing almost every defensive rebound. Auburn has already shown its defensive dominance in earlier games, holding both Vermont and Kent State to under 60 points in wins that were relatively easy. It's like likely that this matchup will unfold similarly, with North Alabama struggling to find any offensive rhythm. North Alabama's offense will be severely tested by Auburn's stifling defense, and they will face a difficult challenge in trying to get any sort of production going. Auburn's athletes will be all over the court, but the Tigers prefer a slower pace on offense, unless they get a breakaway opportunity. They rank 192nd in tempo, and they are comfortable grinding out possessions, working the ball into Broom down low where he has proven to be an unstoppable force against lesser competition. While North Alabama has shot the ball reasonably well to start the season, this Auburn defense will present a whole new level of difficulty for them. With Auburn's defensive efficiency and their ability to limit scoring opportunities, North Alabama is likely to struggle to put up points. As a result, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Gonzaga vs. San Diego State The Gonzaga Bulldogs are set to hit the road for the first time this season as they travel to San Diego for a non-conference showdown against the San Diego State Aztecs. The Bulldogs come into this game with an undefeated 3-0 record, buoyed by a revamped roster that boasts 76% of players returning from last season. Additionally, Gonzaga has bolstered its depth with several key transfers who have made an immediate impact. On the other hand, the Aztecs are also undefeated, sitting at 2-0 as they prepare to face the Bulldogs on their home court. Known for their tough, defensive style of play in recent seasons, San Diego State will face a formidable Gonzaga team that is firing on all cylinders. The Bulldogs are one of the most experienced teams in the country, and their bench has been a significant contributor to their success so far. Gonzaga has been just as effective on defense this season, with an impressive ability to force turnovers. Meanwhile, San Diego State has only played one Division I opponent this season, and there is a strong likelihood that they will struggle to find their rhythm early in this matchup. While they showed resilience in their game against UC San Diego, the Aztecs finished with more turnovers than assists, which raises some concerns for their performance in this contest. This game represents a significant step up in competition for San Diego State. With a nearly completely revamped roster, it will take the Aztecs time to develop chemistry and find their groove. In contrast, Gonzaga has the benefit of returning several key players from last year's team, as well as bringing in experienced transfers who have made an immediate impact, including the talented battle. The Bulldogs have been efficient on both ends of the court, currently ranking first in offensive efficiency, 
and 33rd in defensive efficiency. While San Diego State's defense has been solid, the level of competition they have faced so far must be considered. Against Gonzaga, they will not be able to dominate the interior as they did against their previous opponents, and they are unlikely to replicate the 100-point performance they posted in their last game. Although San Diego State enters this matchup well-rested, Gonzaga is operating on a different level right now and is playing exceptionally well. The Bulldogs have faced decent competition so far this season, whereas San Diego State has struggled to get past UC San Diego and has only played one subdivision opponent. Given these differences, the Gonzaga Bulldogs to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. As they enter this game, the Zags are ranked third in the nation in scoring, though it is difficult to expect them to maintain their level of efficiency on the road against such a tough defensive opponent like San Diego State. On the other hand, the Aztecs are ranked 301st in the country in scoring offense, despite having a 100-point game under their belt. Gonzaga, ranked 33rd in defensive efficiency, has done an excellent job defending the perimeter and is currently 17th in three-point defense. Additionally, the Aztecs have struggled with turnovers, especially in their first two games against much weaker teams. Against a superior Gonzaga defense, San Diego State is likely to have several wasted possessions in this matchup. Offensively, Gonzaga has been on fire to start the season, scoring over 88 points in each of their three games. The Bulldogs have been shooting efficiently from all areas of the floor and are playing at a fast pace. In contrast, San Diego State scored just 63 points in their game against UC San Diego, and under head coach Brian Dutcher, the Aztecs have tended to play a much slower style of basketball. San Diego State does not rely heavily on the three-point shot, but they have consistently ranked among the top defensive teams in the nation. While Gonzaga is likely to have a solid offensive performance, the Aztecs will aim to slow the game down and limit the Bulldogs' scoring opportunities. Given these factors, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.